Welcome back to my channel you guys. I'm Hannah and this is So Much Design with Hannah. In this video I'm going to unbox a few things with you. We've got something from Dior, two things from Fendi, one item from Ferragamo and a couple of little random bits which I purchased recently and there's a little story to go with them so I thought I would share those too. So stay tuned because it's going to be a fun one. I love everything to do with design, but I have got a bit of a weakness for handbags and jewelry in particular. Well, maybe accessories in general. Um, so if those are things that you enjoy too, why not hit that little subscribe button and not miss any of my future videos. Also, I will sometimes cover things from London town, which is where I live, and the occasional little travel vlog when my husband and I go somewhere that you may also find interesting. Right, shall we take a look at what I got? Where shall we start, you guys? Shall we start with Ferragamo? Okay, let's do that. So this item from Ferragamo, uh, which is very quickly becoming a brand that I'm a little bit obsessed with, I have to admit. And where has that come from? Well, I think Romina Rosemay definitely has influenced me to look at, at Ferragamo. Um, but also I think Cassie Thorpe has got a Ferragamo bag, which I love. It's that kind of orange with the red. Um, it's the Wonder Bag, I believe. Yeah, and the, the Wonder Bag really is on my radar at the minute. It's just a question of size and colour. I'm really torn about the Wonder. Uh, you will have seen that I tried on the, um, the black and red uh, in the large size Wonder, which I think is so stunning. And then, of course, the little one in the, like, it's a, an ombre green and blue. Blue is my colour. You can see I'm wearing blue and I wear a lot of blue. And that little bag is just so super cute because, yeah, why not? Anyway, I can't make up my mind about the bag, so I keep on looking. Oh, and I forgot to mention the hog bag. I absolutely love the hog bag. It's a stunning bag. So anyway, decisions to be made about what Ferragama bag to get eventually. Uh, I'm not sure. And they do go on sale sometimes as well. So that's another consideration. But this particular item that I purchased this time is in this little box. And um, it's a little while since I bought it, actually. It was together with the... Sweet, sweet, wonderful Leslie Adina. And I will, of course, link her channel. Uh, we had the most wonderful day together, just the two of us. And we spend a long time in the Ferragamo shop in uh, New Bond Street here in London. I have to say the sales associates were so super wonderful. Um, Literally, they they wanted to show us absolutely everything. And that's obviously the dream as a content creator that uh, the shops are willing to show what they've got. And um, that makes it possible to create some hopefully great content for you guys. So inside, oops, we've got a lovely little dust bag. And you can see that it's a small item. And it looks like this, the dust bag. And what's inside, you may say? Do, 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 do. Yes, I love bracelets. Well, rings, earrings, necklaces. Yeah, I love accessories. And this bracelet, absolutely just, I mean, it was there in the display cabinet. It just shouted my name. This was a bit of an impulse purchase, I have to admit. 
It's not something that I had looked at before we went to in, into the shop, <laughs> but I looked at it, I tried it on and yeah, my heart was stolen because this little bracelet, let's see, it is a really cool design, I think. So you can see here the, I think it, this might be brass or something like that. Um, and then we've got leather. And with this lovely finishing here where it says Ferragamo and actually also on the inside, it says Ferragamo. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Yeah, it's a bit reflective, but it says Ferragamo on the inside as well. Uh, you can see it kind of sits nicely here, flush with the arm. And then it's just like, it's a bit of a statement, don't you think? I love it. Absolutely love it. And it will look good with everything, in my p opinion. Yeah. So there you go. This is my new Ferragamo bracelet. I think it is from the Runway collection, as far as I remember. Of course, if that's wrong, please do correct me but I believe it is. So yes, there you go. And apologies for my s cat scratches. <laughs> it's what happens when you've got pets. Um, of course I should yeah. say, I will try to find everything online and uh, link the items in the description box insofar as they are still available. Okay, Dior. Love Dior. Let's have a little look at Dior, shall we? So, of course, as we know, Dior does absolutely the best packaging. I mean, they they just they just do. I'm always very delighted. <laughs> always very delighted, and I know it's silly, but I'm always very delighted when they remember to put the Dior star on the bag because I love those little, little stars. Aren't they just wonderful? And they're like lovely little keepsakes. I keep mine sort of um, all hanging together all year round. Um, sometimes I do put them on the Christmas tree as well, uh, but aren't they lovely? Yeah, wonderful. It is a true unboxing. And um, it was an item that I actually purchased also with Leslie same day same vlog um, so here we go so you've got the tissue paper and inside there's the box <laughs> there's the box and the sales associate at Dior gave me this because if you've been watching my channel you also know that on my wish list for years and years has been a Lady Dior. And there is this Lady Dior art. I think, if I remember correctly, Amelia Rose, Amelia Rose's closet, has got a beautiful Lady Dior art bag. Um, if I can find her video, I will link it below so you can pop over and see what I mean. Because these Lady Dior's, Lady Dior's in general obviously are absolutely stunning. But the Lady Dior art bags are next level. Absolutely. So interestingly enough, you guys, this is going to be a bit of a story time along with these little unboxings. Uh, Sarah Hughes who was a very famous uh, contemporary artist, um, has created a couple of these Dior art bags. And I didn't actually know that. Uh, I particularly like the one that she's holding in her hand. I don't know if you can see it. Um, the red one is stunning. But Sarah Hughes is a really famous artist. And not that long ago, when I went on a trip to Denmark, <laughs> Um, to my hometown, which has got the 
art gallery um, where my husband and I got married. Um, I created a little vlog from that trip and I'll, I'll link it below. Um, there was an exhibition of Sarah Huge paintings. A fabulous exhibition. And uh, yeah, <laughs> what a coincidence, right? Because I, I really admire her paintings. She's such a talented artist. And I had absolutely no clue that she had done one of these uh, Dior art bags. But there are many artists that have created for this collection. And yeah, most of them I would be quite happy to own. <laughs> you will probably be able to guess what's in it because of the shape. Let's turn it around. <laughs> But isn't the packaging just fantastic? I mean, don't you just love it? Love it, love it, love it. Well, I do. Anyway, let's have a look. Uh, here we go. So, yes, it is a pair of sunglasses. And you might ask, do I need new sunglasses? The answer to that is a definitely resounding no. I've got quite a few sunglasses, um, but the reason why I purchased these ones is because my absolutely favourite, favourite sunglasses of all time, my Lady Dior's, which actually I had to replace twice. Yeah. Sunglasses can be a little bit like umbrellas. I don't know if you've got the same experience, but sometimes I put my sunglasses down and then I forget where they are. Which is not really that clever when it's a really expensive pair, which Dior, of course, is not cheap, right? Um, and it happened again. It absolutely happened again and I was distraught. But I was just like, well, what's the point? What's the point? Um, you won't find them again. You put them somewhere. I think I went to the cinema with my husband and then we went to Bora Market. We bought some fish, some meat, and I probably took them off, put them on the counter and forgot them to put, put them back on my face or in my bag. And because I have got a bit of a problem with the small handbags, <laughs> can't always fit the sunglasses in so yeah that's what happened anyway that's the story behind and um, here they are and as you can see I haven't used them yet so this oh they are lovely this is the first time I actually see them since I purchased them a little while ago here we go what do you guys think They've got like a, yeah, I don't know if it's reflecting badly on you. It's got Dior on the side. And probably here you can see they are like blue and burgundy. Yeah. Let's try them. <laughs> Let's try them. There you go. There they are. Um, what do we think? What do we think? I love it. Shall we take one of the random items? This one to me is, of all of the items, probably one of the most, most, most special. And if I show it to you, maybe you will understand why. It is this little item. If you love luxury YouTube, if you have been watching all of the London vlogs recently from when we were a bunch of YouTubers meeting in London you will know who this lady is even if you didn't see those vlogs well why didn't you there were so many of them you should absolutely go and watch each and every one of them all of the YouTubers that got together, and of course, all of them are fabulous individuals. I feel, and I said it before, I just feel utterly blessed that I was able to be there and meet them all. 
He was super, super special. And Dale from Dale's Addiction was there all the way from Australia, together with Meredith, of course, also from Australia. <laughs> and ever since Dale started talking about her little handbag hook on her channel, I wanted one of these. I've got some other handbag hooks, but this is, you know, this is so much more special. Why? Because I love Dale. And I love this little handbag hook. And on the day where we all got together, Dale was so sweet and she gave everyone one of her handbag hooks. And she said, talk about it on your channel. So here we go. I am talking about it, Dale. And make sure that if you've got fancy handbags, luxury handbags or even a handbag that you just adore and that you want to look, care for look after these handbag hooks are absolutely invaluable all you do is you open it up and you can put it on the table like so and then you hang your bag here it means that a doesn't have to stand on the table worst of all doesn't go on the floor which is obviously a no-no and um, you don't have to have it on the back of your chair where it, there's a danger that somebody might pinch it and you don't have to have it on your lap because that's a bit uncomfortable and so on these little handbag hooks are fantastic and Dale she actually sells these so head over to her channel and buy one so yes, this to me is super, super special. I will wear this with pride in my handbag and take it out. And every time I use it, I'll be thinking about you, Dale. So thank you. Thank you so much for this and for the wonderful experience we had together and hopefully many more in the future. Right. Shall we do another random one? And I will speed it up a little bit. So this one is very random. It's a little horse. It's a Swedish horse. Um, and it's called what they call a Dala horse. This is a firm favorite in Sweden. When you go to Sweden and you buy a souvenir, you have to have one of these horses. They're made of wood, they're hand painted. They come in many different colors and I chose a blue. What a surprise. And the reason why I'm showing it to you is because we went to Stockholm not that long ago. There will be a Stockholm vlog coming very soon. Uh, so those of you who like a little travel vlog, that will be coming up. Um, and we went to this wooden horse museum and I purchased this. And also these little horses in the red and the black so these are fridge magnets of all of the things i collect that's quite a lot of things i also collect magnets or rather my husband and i collect magnets so we always buy a fridge magnet from any location we go to these i collect geary and christmas collectibles because i think they are super lovely Gil Jensen, of course, um, is a very famous Danish jewellery designer. Uh, he was particularly famous in the 50s and the 60s, I believe, but have remained so for up until now. Um, and they do lots of things in terms of homeware, um, plates, cutlery, candlesticks, a lot of silverware, very famous for their silverware and their silver jewellery design. And uh, one of probably the biggest Danish jewellery design brands around. So I believe these uh, items and the brand Geary Jensen is uh, worldwide well known. Um, and I went to Denmark recently, well actually very recently, not uh, good circumstances, unfortunately. My father passed away 
um, which was obviously very sad and it remains very sad. Um, and when I was there, I purchased this little bell. Uh, and it's this little bell here. You can see this one is from 2022. Uh, I didn't get this in 2022, so <laughs> it was quite nice to get it this time. So there you go, a little bell from Geo Jensen. <laughs> I love Fendi, I love Fendi, I love Fendi. I have got two items for you. They are two separate items. They were purchased on two separate occasions, but I'll unbox them with you here. One item I have worn already, the other item I have not. Um, and it comes in this box. Um, <laughs> the boxes at Fendi doesn't always give it away because sometimes it, it's a little bit random which box they give you. But I think this one is true to what's inside. <laughs> and there's a little bit of a theme here. I don't know what's going on with me, but um, yeah, sunnies. And these are also sunnies. Anyway, I saw these and I, I just, yeah, I fell in love immediately. I have got other Fendi sunglasses and they come in this kind of squishy pouch. And then you've got this little hook on the side which actually, uh, and it's got Fendi on here, on the hardware. It's actually really handy. It seems like this could be quite annoying. But because, as you know, I love mini bags, this is super handy. Because what I do, if I wear one of my little bags, I hook this on to the bag. Yes, okay, it might not look like the best aesthetically but it's very practical and if I'm wearing my sunshine tote I hook this on on the inside um, yeah and any other bag I kind of hook it on if I can because then I don't lose it of course it doesn't mean that I can't lose the, the glasses themselves um, but luckily these ones are still here so here we go these are Fendi Tortoiseshell Fendi Lock. Look at that. I absolutely love these. Since I purchased these, I've hardly put them down. Um, they are very quickly becoming my favourite pair of sunglasses. Let's show you. Yes, and I actually think I have worn them in, in some of my vlogs already. Um, but here you go. What do you think? Aren't they lovely? I mean, <laughs> let me know what you think, you guys. I absolutely love them. And uh, okay, maybe I didn't need two pairs of sunglasses in one go. But hey ho hum, eh? And this is probably the most exciting, which is why I've left it for last, uh, to keep the excitement going, you guys. Well, let's hope. It's the same size box, but what it, what's inside is certainly not the same. This item is something I have wanted for a while. And I purchased this during the event, during the gathering <laughs> of all the YouTubers in London. When we went to Fendi a couple of times, I purchased this item. And you can see it's small. Why is it small? Well, it is because if you have watched some of my other videos, you will know I have got a terrible disease. It's a luxury disease, but it's not any disease. It's a Fendi Nano <laughs> disease. It's a Fendi Baguette Nano obsession. Yes, I am obsessed. I've said it before. 
I'm utterly, utterly obsessed. Not only with the baguette itself, I am obsessed with the baguette and I really want a medium sized baguette. I just can't make up my mind which one to get. Because they bring out so many new wonderful designs all the time. And yeah, so that's the dilemma. And this one, the Fendi Nano. The Fendi Nano. This fuchsia pink from the current Fendi collection. I mean, let's just take a moment. Let's just take a moment to admire that sparkle, that sequence. Let's do a little twirl. So we've got beads along the edges, sequin on the sides, sequence on the back. We've got a little leather tap in the fuchsia. We've got the beautiful baguette buckle. I prefer the large buckle on the nanos. I really do. I think it is stunning. You would think that the, the design of this would kind of go off kilter, not be that balanced with this big buckle on such a small bag, but actually I think is what makes it so special. It's a little bit, it's a little bit off, <laughs> but a little bit perfect. I absolutely adore this. I adore it. And this is my, do I dare say it? This is my fourth. <laughs> I have got four of these nano baguettes, but this is my first sequin. And you will have seen in shoving vlogs. If not, go and look at my uh, list. There's a whole raft of them. And there are a lot of sequins in those vlogs from Fendi because they bring this out again and again in different colors. I was thinking about there's like a blue with the stripes on it. I almost purchased that one because I thought, oh, it's such a great neutral. But to be honest, if it's a little nano baguette, you wouldn't a pang of color. You want something that just lifts things and every time you look at it you will be like so super excited and as I hope you can tell I am very excited let's have a little look inside it has got a brown interior it's got its own little stuffing here let's take it out um, oops and then it's got the chain which does fit crossbody and then you, we've just got a little compartment there and then a little little space it is just a little space but what this little bag fits is surprising still so i tend to when i use these have my card obviously in the slot or two cards a lipstick something like that it can also fit a key which is good and uh, sometimes I have also just used it put my uh, ear pots in there and a lipstick and that also works so it's just a lovely little accessory and I find them so super fun yeah <laughs> I love this let me know what you think in the comments if you want to see an unboxing of this exact sequin baguette, but in the actual handbag, I will link Amelia Rose's unboxing of hers. She purchased this very, very 
same fuchsia pink baguette recently also when she was in London and it's stunning it's just stunning uh, Dale's Addiction has got this color as well in the baguette and uh, yeah I'm not a pink person I've said it before but this fuchsia pink it's just next level it's just next level um, and honestly I would consider getting one of the other like a mini baguette probably in this the only reason why I'm hesitating is because I'm a little bit worried about the sequin and wearing it um, but maybe I need to get over that <laughs> maybe I just need to get over that and uh, take the plunge at some point but this little nano is my latest what do we think what do we think I'm in love I love 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 this so let's just finish this little video off with me showing you all of my nano baguettes because even though it's actually exactly the same little nano they have got really different aesthetic I think anyway that's my justification don't tell me I'm wrong <laughs> no you can if you want um, also, if you're interested, I keep my little nanos in these little perspex drawers. It's like a little three tower drawer system, um, which I purchased on Amazon. And I think they're super nice because because they're perspex, I can see which one is in there and it keeps it like dust free. So the first, well, this is the nano I purchased before this last one and it's this one here and then my very first one was this one which is the raffia uh, and this one is a bit special because it's got this top handle this top handle is super handy I use it on other handbags um, as well and of course you can switch them out so yeah so the raffia nano and then my most special one I have to say my most special one is this one which is the beaded which is I mean yeah this this is just next level this is from the 25th anniversary of the baguette collection and my most prized nano it is just stunning just stunning and I haven't worn it that much maybe a handful of times uh, I don't know why it's just it just feels so precious and sometimes I just yeah I just want to look after it it's my little nano baby <laughs> Anyway, let's look at all of them in one hit so you can see that though they are the same, they are very different. If I can do it justice. Let's just see if I can do this justice. Right. Raffia. Sequin. Fabric and beads. There you go. <laughs> this is my current Nano Baguette collection. Will there be more? I can't guarantee that they won't. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. It means the world to me that you are coming back to my channel. And thank you so much to my current subscribers. Of course, if you're new here, make sure you hit that little notification bell. It would mean the world to me. I'm just a small channel trying to grow. And the more of you who wants to watch, the more content I can create. And of course, you won't miss the next video that I publish. So yeah, 
I hope you enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching.